Hi, and thanks for choosing Pebble Host. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use the Clear Lag plugin. If you're experiencing lag on your server, this plugin should help to at least reduce or even fully fix your lag on your server. It's very easy to install and use, so let's get right into it. So first you're going to want to go into the description, and then click on the clear lag link. It will then take you to this bucket page. And yes, this does work on 1.19. So simply click download latest file. It will then ask what you want to save it. I'll keep it in my downloads. I'll click save. And as you can see, the download has now completed. Then we're going to go to Pebble Host. Next, we want to make sure that our server type is actually compatible. This means that our server type has to be able to run plugins. So come down to the jar and pre-install menu, and then from here, you can select paper, spigot, or craft bucket. I recommend you use paper, but as of recording this video, paper 1.19 hasn't actually come out yet. So I'm using spigot for this example, but it will work the exact same. So once you've selected that, click save, and then we're gonna restart our server. Once we've done that, we're then gonna go to the left, the file manager, and then once we're in here, we're going to go into the plugins folder and then upload, file, and then we're going to find our clearlag.jar and click open. And we'll start uploading and there we go. So now that our file's uploaded, we can go back and then restart our server. All right, so we have now joined our server. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do slash lag with two Gs. And if we open up our chat, we can see we have a big list of commands. So I'm going to go through the most important ones. So first of all, we're going to do slash lag clear. So we're going to do slash lag with two Gs and then clear. And as you can see, it's cleared 40 entities. And then if we do it again, as you see, it's removed 141 more entities. So entities do come up pretty often. If it is mobs that are lagging your server, there is also some commands you could do to get rid of them. You can simply do slash lag and then do kill mobs. And if you do that, as you can see, 210 mobs have been removed. And if we were to do it again, as you can see, it's just removed all these chickens as well. If you don't want to clear all the entities in the whole server, then you can instead do it for a certain radius. So I'm going to drop this piston on the floor over here, and I'm going to move a bit away. And now if I was to do, slash lag, and then area, and then we'll put a radius of 5 blocks. As you can see, 0 entities have been removed within a radius of 5. However, if we remove within 5 blocks of this piston, I'll know how to do it now. As you can see, it has removed the entity. And also, in our chat, you can see ground items will be removed in 60 seconds. So every now and then, the ground items will be cleared, but you will get a notification before, just to let you know. And this happens to try to reduce the server's lag, as it is not letting a huge amount of entities build up at once. And as you can see, it's just removed 22 entities from around the world. If your server's RAM is struggling, you can also do slash lag, and then GC. And this will attempt to free up memory. You can also see how many entities are in the world. So to do this, we can do slash lag, and then check, and then world. So now if we press enter, as you can see, items of the ground 2, mobs alive 69, friendly mobs alive 69, players alive 1, and it shows you all the information you need. And there's another command for also checking the most dense chunks. So if you are to do slash lag, chunk, and then how many chunks you want to see. So I'll put 10, and it will show the 10 laggiest chunks. So if we do that, as you can see, we can see the largest chunks, world, and then this is the chunk here, it has 8 entities, this one has 7, 7, 7, 6, and so on. So obviously if one had a way higher entity count, then you'd want to go ahead and actually clear that chunk. And if you want to teleport to this chunk, you can do slash lag tp chunk, then you want to do the x coordinate, so ours is 1, and then the z coordinate, which is minus 57. Then you're going to put the world name, which is just world for me. And as you can see, it's teleported me to this laggy chunk. If you want even more ways to optimize your server, we can also edit the config files. So to do this, go to the file manager. Once you're in here, you're going to go to the plugins folder. And then we're going to go to the clear lag folder. Then into config.yml. And now we are actually in the config. So there is a ton of stuff you can change in this file. And one of this, for example, is the RAM meter, meaning that if the server's RAM goes above a certain limit, it will run some commands. So right here we have, if the RAM goes over 5 gigabytes, then it will run the commands to kill all mobs and also clear all entities. And that will help bring your RAM back down. You can also configure what the slash lag halt command does. Now usually it just stops all the main server functions, but you can actually choose what it turns off and on here. We also have the player speed limiter down here, which basically, if your server has flying enabled, it will actually limit how fast someone can go. So it means they can't just load hundreds upon hundreds of chunks in a few seconds. You can also set how long things take to despawn. 
You can even change things like dispenser fire rate here and also the radius of TNT explosions to make them smaller and not as heavy on the server, as well as fire spread, and once again, there's just so many things, so I definitely recommend going here and seeing what you might be able to change in your server config files. Anyway, hopefully this video was helpful, and I hope it did help you to reduce any lag you might have been having on your server. Anyway, hopefully, I'll see you next time.